Hello, race fans, and welcome once again. Well, welcome for the first time, actually, to the Virginia High Racing League Short Track Series. It's the Welland Tour Mod, and it's round number one here at Five Flag Speedway. Coming to you live here on Rice Motorsports TV. And the uh, cars are rolling off, getting ready for heat number one of, of qualifying. And uh, as they roll off, we want to give a shout out to our sponsors, Adaptive Driving Experience and SRM Design, the official paint shop of Rice Motorsports TV. It was a beautiful night for racing out there tonight. 78 degree air temperature, winds only four miles an hour. They're running 50% fuel. The three green, white checker attempts of 50 laps are here at this point for eight mile facility. As always, thank you for uh, joining us here on Rice Motorsports TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you'll know every time we go live. The car's making their way down the back stretch. David Hall will be leading them to the green flag. Heat race number one. Got the green flag. Heat number one is underway. And off to a good start, held Rothery in that second position. There's Greg Moore moving into that second spot. Rothery now back to third. I see uh, there's Jimmy Fitzmaurice now taking that third position. They're still battling behind him. Boy, he's going to rock it right on past the 5'10 there, Greg Moore. Matt Hayden's trying to follow through the field as well. Tight group of cars here, that's for sure. I mean, Fitzmaurice now trying to uh, throw a bead on the number 521, David Hall. Five laps remaining, only eight laps uh, in these qualifying heats. Fitzmaurice, he moves into that second position, followed closely by the number 55, Dave, I mean, sorry, Matt Payton. Oh, Hayden looks like he ran a little wide there. Was able to gather it back up. He's continuing on now. Four laps remaining. That's where he's trying to hang on. Greg Moore, he's still in that uh, third position. Held Rothery coming up behind him, though. The rest of the field now starting to get the strung out. Uh, Hunter King uh, there in their fifth position, a little further back. There's Burt Duffy and uh, the 575 chasing down the 512 there, Clay Rice. Meanwhile, up the front, two laps to go. Fitzmaurice trying to hold on uh, to get this uh, win here in the heat race. White flag is in the air, going down the back stretch. Matt Hayden. Not close enough. Doesn't look like he's going to be close enough to uh, get that. So, uh, yeah, Jimmy Fitzmaurice, he will win heat number one. So, congratulations there, Jimmy Fitzmaurice. Winner of heat one. And now we're getting ready to heat number two. Field coming on onto the track here. Starting to roll off. Tony Rice in the 64 machine getting going. Joe Nurton be at the point. Dustin Prescott on the outside of row one. Now, these heat races are used to set the field for the feature race. As you all may have figured out, that these, these races are run on Sundays. So we're actually looking at a, a recording of the race, and we get to all watch them together.
pace car should be coming in this time around. There he is down on pit road. Got a green flag and heat number two is underway. Joe Norton off to a good start there. Look at Billy Stallings taking a look down on the inside of John Justin Prescott. <sighs> Stallings trying to get that second position where they're door to door. Not many laps to uh, get up uh, as far as you can in the order. Ashton Rice barely hanging on to that third position. Oh, it looked like uh, Tom McLaughlin had to check up a little bit. Third and continues to lead uh, four tenths of a second gap to Billy Stallings. Tony Rice moving up through the field. Now in the fourth position. Looks like he may get past the uh, the 987 there, Ashton Rice. Head-to-head -head battle here for the lead. Nerton still has it, but look down on the inside. Tony Rice, boy, he rockets down to the inside. Passes both of them out at the same time there. Right into the lead. Nerton still in that second spot. <coughs> Followed by uh, the 987 Ashton Rice. Trying to hold on to that third position. Sean McLaughlin uh, in the uh, fourth spot. Ashton Rice moves up to the second position. Just a nose ahead of 501 there, Nerton. Rice, he's got the oh, 1.8 second gap there. White flag is in the air. Ashton Rice has gotten uh, past uh, clear of Joe Nerton. Actually, Sean McLaughlin is now battling with Nerton for that uh, third position. But Rice is going to come around and uh, Tony Rice come around and take the checkered flag. And he will uh, grab the victory there for heat number two. So now as the cars, uh, they get ready to line up here for the feature race. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take a moment here and hear from our sponsors. We'll be right back. You're watching the Virginia High Racing League Short Track Series. It's the Welland Tour Modifieds uh, here on Rice Motorsports TV.
Okay, folks, we're back here, uh, getting ready uh, to get going here. We'll pause a moment here for our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in. That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave or the Okay, now if car's starting to roll off. Let's take a look at your starting grid. Tony Rice on the pole, Jimmy Fitzmaurice uh, on the inside of row one. Scroll down the order, see where your uh, favorite driver is located. Getting ready for 15 laps of action or 50 laps of action here at Five Flags of Speedway. Nice car should be making his way in now this time around. Car set, ready to go. Now the green flag, we are racing here at Five Flags. Fitz and Reese gets a good jump, followed by Matt Hayden. Rice now in that third position. Greg Moore right there behind him. Fourth, Harold Rothery rounds out the top five. Boy, look at these cars back here. Everybody's scrambling for a spot there. <laughs> I'd Hayden now to the point. <coughs> He's followed by uh, Jimmy Fitzmaurice, right still in that third position. 33, trying not to let uh, Hayden, get away. <laughs> Just pedaling hard to keep pace with that number 55. They opened up a gap to the uh, 64 there, Tony Rice. He's got a comfortable lead over uh, the uh, 510 there, Greg Moore. Behind him, things starting to bunch up here a little bit, Harold Rothery. Ashton Rice on the high side. Oh, it looks like the it looks like the 577 of Sean McLaughlin getting held up just a little bit. That's going to allow Ashton Rice to get her nose slightly ahead of Rothery as they go down the back stretch. Is she going to be able to complete the pass? It doesn't quite look like it at the moment as it come off a of turn four. Mm. 
And as she drops back to the uh, seventh position, shuttles in behind McLaughlin. That's David Hall. I'm sorry, that's Billy Stallings directly behind her. Elder Arthurie trying to hold off uh, Sean McLaughlin. McLaughlin taking a look on the outside. All these battles going on here up at the front. Matt Hayden starting to stretch out that gap a little bit between him and uh, James Fitzmaurice. I still remains in that third position. Uh, the top three there, they definitely have, have a nice gap uh, between them. Rice, uh, wow, he's really in a, he's like in a very comfortable spot there. No pressure from behind at all. All these cars here starting to string out just a little bit now as well. Billy Stalin is now back to the ninth uh, position. They actually gained four spots since the start of the race. Now, Paul Bajanic, he uh, lost quite a few spots. Lost, uh, looks like about six positions now running in that tenth spot there. Trying to see if he can make his way back up the order. Looking a little further back, there's David Hall. Now pulling up, uh, trying to pull up on the Joe Nurton there, see if maybe if he can uh, get a pass there. Yes, he does. He's into that uh, 12th position. They're not wanting to give up the spot. Oh, somebody got a little loose back there. I think it was Nurton. Got a little sideways. Uh, somebody, who's on pit? Uh, did I see somebody on pit road? Maybe that was, that was just me because I'm not showing anybody on pit road at the moment. I think somebody just, when they get down real low to entering pit road, it'll it'll trigger the uh, pit road uh, indicator. Uh, but that's, uh, that is not the case. And boy, Jimmy, uh, Fitzmaurice in the lead now. He's gotten ahead of Matt Hayden. And they're working their way through the field. Hayden, he's a little bit further back. Boy, this is gonna, you know they're going to end up catching that lap traffic. And he is going to get a little uh, touch and go here as they work their way through the uh, back markers here. <coughs> Hayden threading his way through the field. Now Rice, he's uh hasn't quite caught the pack just yet. He's coming up on the... Uh, bumper there, Joe Nurton. Looks like he, yeah, gonna squeeze by on the, oh boy, that was close. Squeeze by on the high side of the 501. Taking his way through the field. A lot of traffic uh, between him and the two front runners. Getting close to the halfway point. Now coming up on the bumper there, Joe Nurton. Just about three wide, almost, going into turn one. Price threading his way through. Matt Hayden, meanwhile. I think there's one car between him and Jimmy Fitzmaurice, and uh, that is Ashton Rice, which uh, he's trying to get past the 987. And he finally uh, clears the field. Let's see. Got one more car now. It is one more. Sean McLaughlin now between him and the leader. We're past the halfway point now. Or right at the halfway point, I should say. 
He clears the 577. Now there's no one between him and the race leader, Jimmy Fitzmaurice. Maurice, I think he's getting ready to uh, he just worked past uh, Greg Moore. I think that will that will clear the entire field. Hayden, once he gets past uh, the 510, they will they will have uh, effectively lapped the in just almost the entire field. Really dominant here at Five Flags. Rice still trying to make his way through the pack. Still running in that third position. Gap uh, eight tenths of a second. Fitz uh, Maurice back to Matt Hayden. 22 laps to go, though. Is that enough time for him to catch him? We'll see what happens here. Oh, we got a caution. Caution is out. Something happened somewhere, and uh, oh, I think it was uh, Clay Rice. Did he? Uh, did he spin or something? He's uh. Let me go back and we will, we will see what happened here with uh, Rice here. And uh, so he's racing along and not sure. Never did see what happened there. Now that might have just been, I wonder if that was just him slowing down. It must have been uh, something else happened. Oh, you know what it was? I forgot they're, they're doing the, um, they're doing the competition caution possibly. Of course, that was a few laps late. If that was a, con I don't think that's a competition caution. I think something else must have happened on track. And uh, once everybody starts slowing down, it uh, it reads as somebody crashing. So <coughs> Tony Rice down on pit road, taking his way down. It's Maurice and uh, Hayden. One, two right there. Tires and uh, fuel there for the uh, 64. He's going to have to hurry because the field's coming. And he lights it up. Gets off of a pit road just in time. As the leaders come around, he'll stay on the lead lap. So he'll zoom on around and, and come up to the back of the pack here. Let's see, I think maybe we'll get the one to go here. This time around. And let's see. Now we got at least one more lap under caution as the field uh, gets itself sorted out here, as timing and scoring gets itself sorted out. Now because all the cars were lapped when the uh, caution came out, Rice, he comes right back up to the front there, didn't there, because all the, on the restart, all the lap cars are to the inside. The top three were uh, the only three on the lead lap. Green flag racing has resumed once again. Now 
Now 19 laps to go. The top three, they just rocket away from the rest of the field. Jimmy Fitzmaurice trying to hold on for that first victory of the season in the season opener here for the Modifieds. And Hayden not too far behind, Rice not too far behind them as well. It's getting a little bit closer there to Hayden. They're all pretty equally matched there. Hayden not quite, he's getting a little closer to uh, Jimmy Fitzmaurice as well. The 33 managing to hold on and maintain uh, about a three tenths of a second gap. You know, Greg Moore, he's still back in the, uh, I was about to say the uh, fourth spot. He just lost that to Billy Stallings. Moving ahead of the uh, 5'10 there. McLaughlin right behind him uh, in that sixth position. A little further back, Ashton Rice. Not a whole lot of pressure on her at the moment. He's ahead of our uh, Elder Offrey, Paul Bajanic, David Hall. They're all battling for position. Bajanic taking a look on the high side. Unable to get past uh, Rothery at the moment. And then, oh boy, he ends up losing a position to uh, Hall, who sneaks by on the inside, picks up that ninth spot. From the back in the order, there's Hunter King racing along, Clay Rice right behind him. Joe Nurton now back to the uh, 14th position where he's lost both him and Nurton lost quite a few spots uh, since the start of the race. Ten laps remaining. It's Maurice, boy, he is maintaining that gap uh, between him and Matt Hayden. Right around three-tenths of a second, Rice not able to quite close in on the two front runners. Eight laps remaining. Hayden once again trying it. Now it's two tenths of a second. Just about, about it keeps fluctuating there. Now it's around two tenths of a second. Oh boy, and everybody. Oh, oh, and he gets tagged. <coughs> I think uh, he was checking up. Got tagged uh, by the 64, and uh, that's going to bring out a caution here. That will slow the field down. Let's see if we can uh, see what happened there. And uh, they were, he was getting really close to the uh, 33 there. Jimmy Fitzmaurice. I think this is the, uh, I was trying to find the right one here. They were running up on some traffic there, and you see Rice coming up behind the 55. Oh, and it already got in a little trouble. Fitzmaurice uh, got into the back of the 575. That probably caused the uh, 55 to check up, and Rice just couldn't quite get to the outside in time. And uh, Hayden goes on around. Now, under the caution, uh, under the cautions, the uh, race laps, uh, the caution laps do not count uh, towards the official race laps. Only the green flag laps will count, so it'll remain at 45 uh, complete.
Field's coming around now. The whole field's getting uh, bunched up once again. And uh, looks like Matt Hayden is coming down on pit road. I don't think he has. I think that's just camber on that left front tire. I don't think he really has any uh, damage. I hope not. Now, they do have the one faster pair if he needs it. He is going to decide to go ahead and take tires here. Now, like I said before, the, the rest of the field is uh, uh, a lap down, so he'll uh, pull back up behind the 64 of Tony Rice. Or he'll just he'll be able to go full blast here, uh, trying to catch the 33 of Jimmy Fitzmaurice for the win. So we got Jimmy Fitzmaurice uh, restarting. Uh, now he'll be leading them to the green flag. Rice will be uh, in that uh, second position with Matt Hayden. He's starting uh, in the third position. Hayden now getting himself uh, in the position. Like, excuse me, coming through? <laughs> Even his way through the traffic. Let's see, I believe the lights will be going out this time on the pace car. And let's see, yes, they are. One lap to green. Or what should be a shootout to the end. Pace car down on pit road. Here we go. Green flag. Racing once again, now five laps remaining. So Maurice gets a good start. Here comes uh, Rice trying to fend off Matt Hayden. Oh, Hayden looking down on the inside. Got an opening there. He'll move into that uh, second position. Now he'll, Rice is right there trying to uh, stick right with him. Now will Hayden be able to do anything with, with Jimmy Fitzmaurice with two laps remaining? Fitzmaurice, now that was good positioning there where he had that car. It, it was just in the right spot where it, it seemed like uh, Hayden wouldn't be able to get the drive off the corner he wanted to. White flag in the air. So Jimmy Fitzmaurice making his way down the back stretch. Looks like he'll be uh, okay for the win here. Coming to the checkered flag, it'll be Jimmy Fitzmaurice taking the win here at Five Flag Speedway. Congratulations to Jimmy Fitzmaurice. A hard-fought medal there, but uh, he got her done, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, race results here. Fitzmaurice, uh, he's your winner, Matt Hayden, second. Tony Rice, third, Sean McLaughlin, fourth, Greg Moore, fifth, sixth, Ashton Rice, David Hall, seventh, Harold Rothery, eighth, ninth, 
uh, Paul Bajanic, Hunter King rounds out your top 10 and uh, go along down the order see uh, where your favorite driver is in, uh, in the uh, final results there. But yeah, that was a good opening there for that uh, first race of the uh, what would be considered, I guess, the first official race uh, of the uh, Virginia I Racing League Short Track Series. Now this is a uh, this is a uh, support series. So what we're doing is uh, we'll be uh, moving on uh, to the next race, and uh, well, that'll be round number two at Bristol. But uh, tomorrow night we will be back here once again with the late models for their uh, race number one of the season. And then don't forget to uh, come back with us on Monday night. We'll be back with the Twisted Chassis Truck Series, the uh, diecast auction 75 in Martinsville Speedway. And like you already saw there, then uh, back on Wednesday, back here once again for race number two, or back at uh, for the uh, VIRL, it'll be the race number two for, uh, for the Modifieds at Bristol Motor Speedway. So for all of us here at Rice Motorsports TV, we want to wish you a pleasant evening.